Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to install PostgreSQL and PG Admin 4 tools on Windows. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can install PostgreSQL and PG Admin 4 tools on Windows. So let's jump to the demo. First of all, we can open any web browser and I'm opening Chrome here and now we can maybe open the Google and then we can search download PostgreSQL for Windows and now you can open this particular website postgresql.org as soon as the website will be opened up so you can see that this is the option Windows installers so now there is an option download the installer so you can click on this one so this will take you to this particular page download PostgreSQL so if you see there are multiple PostgreSQL versions here but the most up to date version is the 14.2 and this version is available for Linux, Mac and Windows 64 bit Windows only so it is not supported for 32 bit for now so the 32 bit supported for 10.0 version I have 64 bit windows operating systems so that's why I will download this particular version 14.2 so I can click on this download button so this is saying that your download should begin in a few seconds so the download has started the file is 289 MB of size so I think it should be downloaded within few seconds and then we can proceed further the file has been downloaded and now I can click on this one so the downloader will take you to this particular page and you can just click on next and now it is asking for you to provide the installation directory so either you can leave the directory as it is the default one or you can change it so in this case I will leave it as it is and I will click on next and now you need to select the component that those you want to install for example PostgreSQL server PG admin 4 command line tools so I will leave all the things as it is and I will click next and now it is asking you to select a directory under which to you you want to store your data on the PostgreSQL server so I will leave the default options as it is and I will click next and now it is asking you to choose your password for the PostgreSQL so let me choose the password now and now I can click on next so this is the port number the default port that it will use the server will listen on so I will leave this as it is and I will click on next now it is saying that select the local to be used by new database cluster I will use the default option here as well and I will click on next and now these are the installation options that I selected in the past so I will click next and you need to click on next one more time and now the installation has been started right now it is unpacking the things and then we'll do the installation so you can wait for a couple of minutes it takes around five minutes depending on the performance or power of your system and then everything should be fine so I think you can wait for a few minutes all right so the installation has been successful and now it is asking that stake builder may be used to download and install additional tools and drivers to complete your PostgreSQL installation so you can click on next so this is actually asking to install some additional features those right now are not required for our requirement because we just want the PostgreSQL server on which I can create the databases tables and then I can use the databases and PG admin 4 tool is already installed so I think that is enough and we also is selected the command prompt tool so that that's fine so I can just close this one click yes so the installation is successful and now you can go to the menu and then from menu you, you can select the uh, PostgreSQL so this is the PostgreSQL 14 and you can open the PG admin 4 tool from here so the PG admin 4 tool is opening alright so it is asking for me to provide the password so let me type the password here and I can click OK so this is a PG admin 4 tool which is the management tool for the PostgreSQL and on the left side you can see the servers so I can expand this one 
now it is asking me to provide the password one more time to connect to the server so let me provide the password and I will click on save password so that it won't ask me it every time you know I open the server for the password so I can click ok and now you can see that it is showing me all the databases here so right now there is only one default database that is Postgres here and if you see the schemas if you click on the schemas expand this one so there is an option tables here so right now there should not be any table because we have not created any and there are options like functions procedures different options here so in next video i will show you how we can create the tables and we can insert data query data update or delete data from the postgresql tables so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much